Hello everyone. So today, today I'm going to teach you how you can create your own virtual environment for your projects. So you may ask, why do we need to create a virtual environment? And why not we just stick to one uh, main or base environment? So the reason why is because you may have different projects and each of these projects actually work on a different Python version. Some work some of your projects is done on the Python 2, some is done on Python 3, or some is done on Python 2.7. So every time when you want to run a certain uh, Python projects, you may need to uninstall the current Python version, install the version that you want. And uh, this may be troublesome for many. And uh, another example would be maybe you your projects work, work on a TensorFlow 1.15 version or and then you have another project that works on another TensorFlow version. So if you create a virtual environment, you do not have to go through the process of installing, uninstalling and, uh, and this will be a smoother process for the user. So that's why you may need to may want to create a virtual environment. So today I'm going to, what, what we are going to use is the Anaconda. So we are using a, we are going to create the virtual environment using Anaconda. So go to the Anaconda page and then go to the product uh, individual edition. So once you get to in the individual edition, you will go to, you will see this page and then you go, there will be a, your data science toolkit and you will download this. So depending on what uh, OS you are using or operating system you are using, you may choose to download uh, accordingly. So for my case, I'm using the Windows and uh, it's a, mine is a 64-bit graphic in, graphical installer. So I click on it. So since I have already downloaded, I will cancel this. So basically you go through the installer and install the Anaconda installer. So I wouldn't be going through it. So you will go to the uh, Conda um, tutorial page. I will list all the links down in the description below. So basically you will go through the, the user guide or the tutorial will actually go through how you can go about to create your own environment. So to use the Anaconda, you will need to go to Anaconda, Anaconda. So you will see this is a uh, Anaconda prom. Uh, so you click on this. So this should come up in, uh, on your screen. And so we are here. So we would like to download a certain uh, virtual environment with a certain version of Python. So we will be using point three. So to create an environment with a specific versions of Python, we will use this. So I'll copy this paste here and uh, let's call it my version one. And let's download a uh, Python tree. So it's the program is running. So it will ask you whether you want to proceed and whether you want to download the follow, install the following new package. So that's pip and all this. So you will type Y, which is stand for yes. So you will go about downloading all the necessary um, package from the environment. So it's going to take a while. So um, once you have finished installing the Conda virtual environment, it will actually teach you how you can activate this environment and how to deactivate the environment. So for example, you want to activate the environment, you will copy this and uh, paste it here. So once you are in the new virtual environment, it will say, my environment one in here in state of base. So this is dependent on what's the name of your virtual environment. So let's say you want to do a pip install, uh, pip install. And uh, let's say you want to pip install NumPy, you can do so, you can do so. So you will be downloading the NumPy into the virtual environment. So it's gonna take a while, for it to be fully installed. 
So once it's installed, you can go to the uh, folder and uh, don't this. So you can go to the folder and you can see that uh, some of the files are some of the installed files here are here, and you can look for your NumPy. So once you have uh, installed your NumPy, you will go to your Anaconda in the folder that you have saved Anaconda tree. So environments and uh, in this tutorial, I named the environment as my environment one. So go here and then you go to lead. Sorry, you go to lib and you go to site packages and then you should see NumPy on installed here. And uh, we can try another um, environment, I mean another package. So pip install pandas. Let's try pip install pandas. So you're going to take a while. So once you finish in installing your pandas uh, library or package, you will see your uh, pandas folder. You will see your pandas folders inside the site packages. So let's say you do not want to use numpy 1.19.1 and instead you would like to use let's say um, numpy 1.18.5 version 1.18.5 what you can do is firstly you have to uninstall um, the current numpy version so it's pip uninstall numpy so it will ask you whether you want to proceed and you would say yes or why so you have successfully uninstalled numpy so as mentioned let's say you want to i think just now i say 1.184.4 so let's say so you will do pip install numpy equals to equals equals 1.18.4 and so you will download your sorry and so you would pip install the version 1.18.4 for your numpy so this is gonna take a while and done so um this is pretty much the end of the tutorial so if you have any questions feel free to leave your questions down in the comment section below if not thank you for watching and see you next time